today, my lovely friends. It is all about finishing some of these fat, juicy tags. I love these fat tags that I make from my um, index cards, and I hope you do too. So we are just going to be adding some final little touches to these that we've been playing with this week. It, it has been a fun week for me, and I have gotten so much done with these tags. I feel super uber productive, so I hope you do too. So let's just dive right in and see what we can do with these tags to finish them up today. Let's just start over here, and you know, I keep, I love to just pour paper scraps in certain colorways out on my desk. I love to get my laces and little jib jab pieces of fabrics and ribbons and stuff, buttons. I just love to get them out where I can see them when I am working. That really helps my process. I don't know about yours, but it helps mine. It's probably a little messy for some people, but it works for me. Whatever works for you is what you should do. And I kind of love this one. I love where it is going. I am not sure what I want to do to finish this. I love it to pieces. And I think I might just add a little pull tab at the top here. And let's see what that would be. I think that's kind of fun. That is kind of fun, isn't it? Maybe I will just, yeah, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I am going to come in with this glue. Whoops, I took the whole darn top off. That was almost a major accident. Kind of started off Monday with me doing crazy things, but that would have been the craziest thing I'd ever done if I had spilled my whole glue thing. That's going to be pretty darn cool. This little fellow. I just love to pieces. I love the minimalist look of it, but I love that it says so much with that little heart on it. So I think that one we're going to call done. And we're going to bring this one in and see what we can do to finish it off. And I'm not sure I need too much more on there. What I think I might do is just accentuate around the outline of this little tag with my little Tombow pen. And of course this Tombow is water soluble. So if I take a little bit of water. Let me get this close and see what's going to happen here. It will give a nice, nice gray like shadow. And if I dip in some water. I can phase that out a little bit so it kind of fades away. And I think that's pretty darn cool. I'm liking that. Maybe we could accent back there. So let me come in. around this little pointed area. And until you seal it, 
this um, will always activate. It will always be active. What did I do with my lid? I got up my hand. Kind of crazy today. Okay, let me hold this up a little bit close. Let me just sneak in here. So, anytime this gets wet, since it's water soluble, it is going to run. So, if you are using a water soluble pen or a marker, you will need to seal this with something else. if it gets wet. Hopefully it won't get too wet. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't get wet in your little books. But I think that really helps that. That was kind of faded away before, so I am really liking that. All right, guys, I'm going to call that one done. Put that over there. Let's bring this next one. It really does need a lot of help. I love, still love my little letter we did yesterday. And I came in here and just added some outline with a gel pen and a little purpley color, I think. But it kind of just gives it a little flare. Hope you can see that. So I am going to, first thing I'm gonna do is round these darn corners. I love rounded corners on these fat, juicy tags. So that's a good thing. Then I am going to come in and just do some stamping in a couple of areas. I got some marks in there that I don't really like. So I am going to try to cover that up somehow. I could, it's got words on it, so I don't want to use words. That's a pretty cool little stamp. Did it. Loving that. Let's do three. And a ghosty. Let's come in here and do one over here. And I probably am going to let that dry and come in and fill those in maybe with a little pop of color. And I love tool. Do you like tool? Let me show you on a kind of a dark background. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. I love the that I can tear it and make these raggedy little edges on it. It's so much fun to use. And I've got something in here. I found it. The Goodwill, since we're into hearts this month. I love it when I find this kind of stuff at a thrift store, don't you? Craft supplies at thrifting prices are always awesome. And what happened to my little piece of tools? There's Rebecca. And this tool dies really neat, too. You can come in here with it and do all kinds of fun things. And you can even make a pull on there with some little lace. Maybe we will put some lace through that hole. I seem to be a lot of fumbling today. Sorry, guys. Some days my hands just don't want to work. And of course, this is tea dyed lace. I also love to find antique laces at garage sales and yard sales. Those make me happy. And lots of people get rid of old sewing notions and things like that. 
I can't tell you how many old sewing boxes I've bought in my lifetime. I think that's pretty good. I can go overboard a little bit and go ahead and color in this flower with this gel pen. Very loose, loosey-goosey. Don't want to make it too pronounced. Let's see if I can get some yellow in the middle. That still has the protective tip on it. Just fiddle fool around. And there you go. See the little flower. See the little lace. See the little thing. It's probably for a wedding. And I think I am just going to finish up here with these because we've spent the whole week on them. I love this dyed sari ribbon. Left over right, right over left. That kind of finishes that tag off. I came in here yesterday and just did a little bit of coloring in there, you know? And that's good. I think that'll work. But I hope that gives you some nice ideas of ways to finish your tags and play with them and make these fat, juicy tags like I love because I think there's so many uses for them. Just so darn many uses for them. So play with your fat, juicy tags. Even these kind of fat, juicy ones. And I will be back tomorrow. I cannot believe this is day 44 already. How much fun have we had? And I promise that all these paper scraps will be off my table tomorrow as we dig in and do something else with our daily creative practice. So get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. And may joy be with you all.